What's up guys? I'm Dale from Create a Pro website and today I'm going to show you how to create a business email address and use it through Gmail for free. So instead of using your name at gmail.com, you'll be able to use your name at yourwebsite.com. And I'll show you how to hook it up to your Gmail account so that you can both send and receive emails through this new professional email address, but have the comfort and familiarity of the Gmail platform. So first, why would you want a professional email? Well, number one, free emails look cheap. A professional email address shows that you're serious about yourself and your business. Number two, free email accounts are more at risk for hacking. And number three, professional emails help build your overall brand. All right, so with that said, let's get started. Step number one, do you have a website? In order to get a professional email like your name at yourwebsite.com, you need to own your own domain name like yourwebsite.com. So if you don't already have a website, just click on the link in the top right corner, or you can click on the very first link in the description, and this will take you to one of my videos showing you step-by-step -step how to create a website in just 10 minutes. In that video, I show you how to get a domain name and web hosting with HostGator. I get all of my domain names and host all of my websites through HostGator, because they're fast, reliable, and they offer a free email service where you can create a professional email address. You can still follow along with this tutorial if you don't use HostGator, but you may have to connect a few dots on your own. Okay, so once you have a domain name and hosting, we can move on to step number two, which is to add your custom email account. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to HostGator.com and sign in. And to do that, all you have to do is just click on the sign in button right here and click on portal. And if you have a different hosting provider, it should be about the same. Cool, so now from here, what we're gonna do is select the hosting package that we want to create this professional email for. So this hosting package has my domain 10minutewebsite.com and that's the one that I wanna make a professional email for. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the launch cPanel button right here. Cool, and then from here, what we're gonna do is just scroll all the way down and we're gonna to go to this email section right here and we're gonna click on email accounts. And then here is where you can add a new email account. So it's already got our domain right here. So what I'm gonna do is just create dale at 10minutewebsite.com and then just put in a password and then password again. And then I'm gonna check the unlimited box. We don't wanna put any limit on the amount of emails that we can receive. And then I'm just gonna click on create account. Cool, so now if we just scroll down, you can see that our new email was created right here. So now we can move on to step number three, which is to set up your mail client. Setting up a mail client means that we will link up this new professional email address to your Gmail account. So that way you can send and receive emails through your Gmail account, but under your new custom professional name. So to do this, we have to go over to Gmail and sign in. So let's do it. So I'm just gonna go over to Gmail and then put in my info right here. Cool, so now we're gonna go ahead and hook up the new email that we created to our Gmail. So to do that, let's just go on up to the settings wheel and then just click on see all settings. And then from here, just go on over to the accounts and import tab right here. And then if we scroll down, you'll see check mail from other accounts right here. And what we're gonna do is just add a mail account. And we're just gonna drag this box over to the middle and then put in our new email. So that was dale at 10minwebsite.com and then just click on next. And then what we're gonna do is just import emails from other account. It's gonna offer you this Glamify third-party provider, but it doesn't even work with what we're doing right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that. So just make sure that this says import emails from my other account, and click on next. And then from here, we're just gonna create a username, and you want this to be the same as what you used on HostGator. So I'm just gonna do dale at 10minutewebsite.com and then the same password that you used on HostGator as well, or whatever hosting provider that you're using. And then from here, just make sure that this says mail.yourwebsite.com, which it does, 
And then we're just gonna check this box that says label incoming messages because we wanna know where these messages are coming from whenever they hit your Gmail inbox. So now, whenever you've done that, just click on add account. And then it's gonna ask us if we want to be able to send mail as this new professional email, which we do. And it automatically says yes, so you can just leave that checked and click on next. Okay, so now we'll be asked to create an alias. And an alias means that you can add your actual name to this new professional email address. So that whenever it shows up in somebody's inbox, it will not only show your professional email address, but also show a personal touch of your first and last name next to it. And it doesn't have to just be your first and last name. You could do contact dash your website or maybe your company name. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as my name just like that, and then click on next step. And then from here, we're gonna create the exact same username and password that we just did before. So again, the same one that you're using with HostGator or whatever your hosting provider is. And then same password. And then just make sure that you're using a secured connection using TLS, which we are, and then just click on add account. And now we can move on to step number four, which is to verify your new email. So in order to verify our new email, what we're gonna do is just go back over to Gmail and then just scroll down to check mail from other accounts, which we went to earlier, and then just click on check mail now. And as you can see here, it says one mail fetched. And the reason for this is because whenever you set up a new email with Gmail, Gmail knows that this account is not getting a lot of emails right away because it's brand new. So it's not going to fetch mail as often. But as you start to get more emails through this account, Gmail will fetch them almost instantly. But for now, you can go in and manually check it by hitting the check mail now button. Okay, so once you've done that, we're just gonna go back to our inbox. And you should see that confirmation email right here. So just go ahead and click on it. And then first what we're gonna do is just click on this link right here. And that's gonna confirm our request with Gmail. And then you can just go ahead and click on the confirm button just like that, and then you can just close this window. And then what we wanna do is just come down here and grab this code right here, and yours will obviously be different. So just go ahead and copy that, and then open up that little yellow box from earlier to verify that code, and then just paste it in. And then click on verify. Okay, so step five is to send yourself a test email. So we wanna make sure that this new email is working. But before we do that, what we're gonna do is just go on over to the settings and then click on see all settings. And we wanna make sure that we're gonna be able to reply as that new email that we set up. So let's just go on over to accounts and import. And then if you come down to the send mail as box, you'll see when replying to a message, you're gonna see reply from the same address the message was sent to. You wanna make sure that that's checked. You might automatically be on always reply from the default address which is just your Gmail account. So make sure that you're clicking on reply from the same address that the message was sent to. And once you've done that, we'll just go back and we are going to send ourselves a new test email. So I'm gonna pull out my phone and get that done right now. Okay, so I'm gonna type in my new professional email into the to box. And then in the subject, I'm just gonna put test. And then in the message, I'm just gonna say testing one, two, three and then just go ahead and click on send. And then just give it a minute and it should show up in your inbox and you can try refreshing the page. Cool, so that test email came through, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And if for some reason it did not come through, you can always go down to your spam folder. If you scroll down in here and click on spam, and if it showed up in there, just mark it as not spam and then everything else should come through just fine. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is reply to this and I'll show you that you can reply from your new professional email address. So I'm just gonna click on reply. And then I'm gonna just type a new message, just like that. And then we're gonna click on send. And then if I just go up here and hover over this, you can see that that now came from my new professional email address. And it even has my alias on top. So it looks like our email is working perfectly. All right guys, so that was how to get a business email and use it through Gmail. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button. Every like and comment helps my channel grow so I can keep putting out more free tutorials like this.
And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to create professional websites from home as a complete beginner or learn how to make an online income with websites. My entire channel is videos all about these topics. And if you want quick tips or to see updates from Create a Pro website, then feel free to check us out on Instagram or TikTok. Our community is growing every day. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Dale, and I'll see you on the next video.